I got a new toy. You want to see it? Here it is. It's a server. <laughs> it's a big boy too. Freaking make room desk. I think I just crushed something. This is my new Dell Power Edge R710 rack mount server for my lab. Now this bad boy isn't new. I mean, it's new to me, but I bought it used. Now, why did I do this? Why did I buy this old server? Well, this is what you want to do when you want to beef up your home lab. You'll buy an awesome, massive, amazing server that enterprises have in their data centers. But we buy the older ones. They're cheaper, but they still run great. I actually already have two in my lab, and I wanted one more because why not? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a home lab server like this. And we're going to install the latest and greatest VMware on this bad boy. ESXi or vSphere 7. Completely free, and it's amazing, and it's what enterprise IT departments actually use. So you're gaining valuable skills. That's the whole I, big idea, right? That's why we're here doing this. Also to run Plex and all the other fun stuff because you can do all of that here. Hey, Chuck from the future here. Turns out you cannot install vSphere 7 on old hardware like the R710. What the junk VMware? Why are you doing this, man? Come on. So we're stuck with VMware or vSphere 6.7 or ESXi 6.7, which is fine. It's what I have currently installed on my other old servers. So we're going to be proceeding with that that is dumb, isn't it? That's pretty dumb. I spent a little bit trying to figure it out, but hardware is not freaking supported. So anyways, that's why you see a bunch of hardware in the background because I had to figure it out and you're welcome. Anyways, let's continue. Now you can do this too. It's a great way to learn enterprise IT skills. You can pick up a server like this for not too bad. Like, check this out. I got my server from Amazon. Here's the exact one I got. It's awesome. If you want to check it out, link below. Only $645 and you can actually find them cheaper like on eBay. Let's check it out. Yeah, here's the one for 364, 110. It's probably gutted a bit. Yeah, no HDD there. 200, 126. Again, you can buy enterprise IT hardware and put this in your house and it's not too expensive. And shout out to Vessi Shoes for sponsoring this video. We'll talk more about them here in a bit. Okay, let's start doing this. But first, what do you need? Well, the first one's kind of obvious. You need some sort of server. Now, sure, you can use an old laptop or an old desktop PC you have laying around, but be careful. Not all hardware is supported by VMware. I ran into this when I was trying to install on my laptop. So I chose Proxmox instead, so be careful. But if you do go out and buy some old enterprise hardware, that should work just fine. That's why I do recommend old enterprise hardware. Now, once you have a server, the next few things are smooth sailing. You do need a USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes. You'll need a free VMware account, which we'll walk through here in just a moment. And you're gonna need some coffee, espresso, French press, pour over, I don't care. You just need some, networkchuck.coffee. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got, um, oh, here it is. I'm gonna install a 10 gig ethernet NIC, because why not? Scoot this over here. I'm going to pop this bad boy open. Oh, yeah. And slide this 10 gig nick in there. If you want to check it out, link below. I got it off Amazon. Amazon's awesome. Yeah. And bam, that was super fast and easy. And. <gasps> oh, almost forgot. One last thing you'll need is a monitor. That's my monitor, I know. And a keyboard so you can see what you're doing when you actually install VMware. Yeah, that's, I think that's all we need. Yeah, that's it. So here on VMware, if you don't already have an account, go create one. I already have one, I'm gonna get logged in real quick. And boom, if you scroll down just a bit, first we gotta register for this product, for ESXi 6.7. I almost said seven, no, just 6.7, because VMware, they're being kind of jerks. Anyways, register. I gotta tell them all about myself. Things they already know. Enter an actually okay captcha compared to most. Looking at you, Cloudflare. And sign up. And now we have a pretty license key for our VMware ESXi 6.7, which is fine. I mean, I wanted vSphere 7, that's cool. But this works too. So now, all that's left to do is download some stuff. It's uh, right here. We're gonna manually download the latest and greatest. So click on manually download. Mine is freaking fast, so it's gonna go and do it. Now to write this ISO to a USB flash drive that we can use to install onto our server, we'll need a tool. And the tool I'm gonna use is called Rufus. It's one I always use. If you have a Mac or a Linux machine, there are other tools, I'll link those below. Anyways, Rufus. With Rufus, make sure we have the right device selected, I do, and then select your boot, ISO, whatever we're gonna to use to write to that thing. Mine is gonna not be seven, because they're jerks. I'm gonna use 6.7, okay. Make sure your partition scheme is MBR, 
Make sure it's BIOS or UEFI, which is the only option I have. That's all we need, folks. I'm going to click on Start. And yeah, I know. Don't scare me with that kind of stuff. I know it's going to write over everything. We're cool. Let it relax. Let it do its thing. Coffee break if you want. My coffee's cold, so I'm not going to do that. And it's much later in the day now because I had to sneak and go through all this crap. <sighs> Anyways, do you feel my pain a little bit? Yeah. Done. Okay, now we got to grab our USB. Flash drive. Got it. Okay, now we need to plug it into our server. I want to do that right now. Just anywhere you have a USB port in the back of it, right? Okay, about to power it on, but first I need my monitor and my keyboard. Get these suckers plugged in. And now it's time for the monitor. Crap. Okay, <laughs> I've got a problem. These old uh, servers, they have VGA connections, but not HDMI, and I don't have a freaking VGA cable. Luckily, I've got my Vessie shoes, so I can run to the store real quick and grab some VGA cable. Vessie is a comfortable, stylish, everyday sneaker that you can wear even in the winter. Now, these things are cool, like climate cool. Uh, they're made from something called Dymatex, which keeps you cool in the summer, because summer is happening right now and warm in the winter, and it's the true everyday sneaker for when you forget stuff that you need for your projects, like a cable, like I did. And they are sustainably made, less material waste with their knitting process, less water waste, and no animal byproducts. They are vegan. Just don't eat them. Crap, there's a puddle. It's okay. Pesty shoes are waterproof. 100%, let me say it again. Waterproof, not water resistant. So you can walk in the snow when it's actually winter. They are super easy to clean. Just rinse with water and you can wear them right away. Or throw them in the washing machine, they'll dry in a day. So if you're looking for a shoe that makes you look sexy at the data center, or if you're just sitting at home hacking, this is the one for you. Vesky's are my go-to shoe right by my door. So check them out, link below. Use my code CHUCK. You can get $25 off your order right now. Oh, okay. Made it back. <laughs> and just so you know, this ad was not planned. I really did have to run to the store and I totally forgot about this cable. It just kind of played in nicely. Need a knife. All right, VGA plugged in. Now let's power this bad boy up. Woo! Plugging it in. Nice and quiet, huh? So quiet and nice, serene. It sounds like a jet plane. All right, we haven't ridden a plane in a while. Here we go. Pretend we're in a plane. We're taking off. Oh, this is nice. Fiji, Paris. Oh, we're almost there. We're landing. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, first thing I'm gonna do real quick is make sure my RAID configuration is good. So I'm gonna go into F10. System services, and I'm going to make sure my RAID stuff is good. I don't know what this shipped with. I'm going to change it up. Okay, this applies to Dell servers only and old ones at that. To go ahead and configure your RAID to make sure everything's golden and good, scroll down to hardware configuration. Tab over to configuration wizards. You're a wizard, Harry. And go to RAID configuration. Now I know during the boot up you can do control R to get to the RAID configuration. I was hitting that sucker and it wasn't working. I don't know why. Go ahead and hit enter to go next. Got my Perk 7 H700. That's my RAID controller. I'm good. Express is good for the stuff. And then choose your RAID configuration. I'm gonna do RAID 5. I don't want a hot spare. Tab to go to next. And now we'll hit enter to finish. Yes, I do wanna continue. Done, I think, yes, okay, cool. And then just get back and then tab over and exit and reboot. And now we wait once more. Oh yeah, yes. Now at this point with my Dell server, I could hit F11 to go into the boot menu and say boot to that USB flash drive. I know that for mine, it's just gonna boot into it automatically. So if you do run into an issue where it doesn't boot into your stuff automatically, then go to your BIOS menu and do that. Anyways, mine's gonna do it. See you in a sec. Okay, the ESXi installer is launching and it's gonna go through and just check some things. We're gonna go, yup, let's continue. F11, accept everything blindly. It's gonna scan devices and hopefully everything is compatible. Fingers crossed. Oh, VMware, why are you pissing me off? Showing up, it's on my RAID controller. Everything's beautiful. Enter to install ESXi on that bad boy. Pick a keyboard stuff and then put in your root password. Just make it up. Enter to continue. 
And then it tells me something I wish it would have told me hours ago. <laughs> Future releases will support my CPU and crap. So yeah, whatever, dude. Enter. And then finally, hit F11 to install. Boom. Let's do this. Coffee break if you're still drinking coffee. I'm done. And installation is complete. Oh, God. VMware, you're testing me. You're testing me. Okay, so remove the installation media, the USB drive. Removed. And then hit the enter key to reboot. Shkoo. And now we wait again. It's a lot of waiting stuff. So man, make sure you got something to do. Like watch my next video. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Man, this thing is, this thing's hot. Golly. Golly. Okay, so it's booting up now. VMware ESXi is loading the hypervisor and stuff is happening. Magic is happening. Let's watch. And it's fully booted. Okay, sorry, I'm a little tired at this point. <laughs> I want to go ahead and go to the IP address that it pulled via DHCP. I'll show you how to set that sucker static here in a moment. Actually, let's go ahead and do that real quick. What am I wasting time for? Hit F2 to customize crap. It's going to make you log in with the root password you just set. Remember it. And then we'll mosey on over to Configure Management Network, which is just down there. Hit Enter. Scroll to IPv4 Configuration. Hit Spacebar on Set Static. There we go. And then enter your IP address information. Once you're good, hit Enter once more. And Escape to Exit. Hit Yes to apply changes and restart your network, because you just changed stuff. And you're golden. So we should be able to go out through our web browser right now. Let's try it out. Fingers freaking cross, people. 10.7.1.94. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Proceed. It's unsafe. I don't care. And that's what we want to see right here. Log in with root and the password you just set. Boom. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it feels so good for something to work for once. Okay, cool. We're vulnerable to some kind of attack. Whatever, just don't expose your server to the internet. Now, currently we're in evaluation mode. Let's change that. Let's go grab our license. I'm gonna snag my license, just gonna copy that. Then right here on the left, go to manage, and then right here, licensing. Click on assign license, and then enter that delicious license key you just got. Check license, we're good, and now assign it. Woo! <laughs> yes, okay, we're good. So now I officially have a licensed VMware ESXi 6.7, which, yeah, I know, it's not 7.0, but it's still great. I've been using it for years, and it's pretty lit. I love it. Over here on storage, if I click on that, I have one data store here, which a data store is where you'll store your virtual machines, where you'll create your virtual machine, machine disks. It's where you'll store everything for now, because this is the only one I have. Notice it is almost four terabytes. That's the location I installed ESXi on. And yeah, at this point, you can go about creating a virtual machine. I'll walk you through real quick how to create your first one so you're not lost. Anyways, if I go to virtual machines, nothing here. It's so lonely, so dark and scary. Let's click on create or register a VM. Now to do this, we obviously will need an ISO like Ubuntu or Kali Linux or just anything. So I'll make sure I have create new virtual machine uh, selected. Click on next. I'll name it. I Let me make sure I have an ISO somewhere. Oh, cool. I have Ubuntu 18. Awesome. So guest family, Linux. It's going to be Ubuntu 64-bit. Next. Yes, that's my data store. And then choose your stuff. I'm going to throw two virtual CPUs at it. Two gigs of memory, 2048. And then the most important part, I have to make sure that this virtual machine will boot to its CD drive to load its OS. So we're going to change the host device here to an ISO you download. So change that to data store ISO file. And it's going to go to the data store I just showed you. Right now I've got nothing here. So real quick, I like to do this. I'm gonna create a directory, name it ISOs. Create that directory, and this is where I'm gonna keep my ISOs. I'm gonna make sure I select that, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload one I have here. There he is. Notice it's cooking right here. I'll give it a sec. It is uploaded. I will select it. Oh wait, yes, I will select it. There we go. Select, and make sure we have the checkbox here connected at power on, because you wanna have it connected at the power of the on. <laughs> I think that's about all we have to do here. I'll make the hard disk like, I don't know, 50 gigs just for funsies. We can always, you can always change that later on. 
click on next and that's our first virtual machine click on finish and that bad boy is cooking i think actually that bad boy is done and then there he is just sitting there doing nothing <laughs> we gotta boot him up first so let's go ahead and click on him to jump in and i like a little lonely penguin we can just hit that power button right there hit power on up here just tickle his belly tickle his belly <laughs> that was weird it's gonna boot up and um give you a little window and then you'll be able to proceed to install your Linux distro. Now I'm not gonna make you wait. Go ahead and fast forward to the future. And it's done, installed. I'm gonna log into it. Just to prove it to you. <laughs> this is a DNA Linux server. Oh no wait, wrong username. Boom, <laughs> just create a virtual machine. So anyways, we installed an enterprise hypervisor on an old enterprise hardware that we bought off of Amazon or maybe eBay. Now, why do this again? It's great practice to learn actual enterprise IT skills. Secondly, it's awesome for your home lab. Seriously, a ton of stuff I run and feature in my videos runs off of servers like this. Actually, I have an R710, another one, and an R720, and I just throw a bunch of virtual machines running all kinds of stuff. Sure, they're not the fastest machines in the world. No, they're not. But I'm not gaming on these bad boys. They're just running some stuff in my house. You don't need something crazy to run Docker containers, a couple domain controllers. I mean, come on. And what you can learn on these things, it's insane. I mean, come on. I mean, just from, from setting up enterprise IT stuff, like actual stuff that produces infrastructure in a company to just doing hacking labs. This is awesome. So anyways, let me know if this helped you out in the comments below. This took longer than I expected just because of dumb VMware and their requirements for VMware 7. It was supposed to be vSphere 7. It's supposed to be really cool. It's still pretty cool. I mean, 6.7 is still cool. But anyways, I'm still bitter. And again, massive shout out to Vessi Footwear for sponsoring this video and giving us shoes that can help us go get stuff when we need stuff. Like VGA cables on old servers. Yeah. Yeah, that's about all I got today, guys. I will catch y'all next time. I'm gonna install some more virtual machines. Oh, uh, just while you're still here watching the video, um, look at my 10 gig NIC over here. Look at that, 10,000 megabits per second. Woo! Gonna be putting that to use. Anyways, that's all I got. Later.